Beyonce comes out of the closet to talk about double standards for women. What's up? You're tuned in to The Drop. I'm Cynthia Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. Beyonce looked just as sexy as ever for her spread and cover on Out Magazine's Power Issue. Queen Bee posed for the black and white pictures wearing a bright blonde wig and not much else. For the interview, she talked about dropping her unexpected album. LGBTQ rights. What's that stand for? Lesbian, gay, bi, transsexual. And the Q? I don't know what the Q is. They added the Q. I'm not sure yet. People keep petitioning for more letters. Like, but I'll consider this. I don't know what the Q is. And women getting their freak on in peace. Yeah, that's kind of what she meant. She told the magazine, there's a double standard when it comes to sexuality that still persists. Men are free and women are not. She added, you can be a businesswoman, a mother, an artist, and a feminist. Whatever you want to be and still be a sexual being. Let's be honest. Beyonce is clearly not the first to talk about inequality between the two genders, but she definitely has one of the biggest platforms to inspire women to understand what feminism is all about. All the women in the that's my song, throw your hands up at me. I'm glad Beyonce is talking about women expressing their sexuality because I think she does it perfectly. She needs to teach more women how to be respectively sexy, you know? She's pretty good at that. I will admit, she definitely put me up on game to embracing my power and independence. I remember when I was at her concert, she had a whole monologue about using her femininity as a strength and not a weakness. It was inspiring. Beyonce can be sexy without looking trashy. That's all I'm saying. I think there will always be somewhat of double standards with women, especially when it comes to sexuality in society's eyes, but it is getting better. I'm not giving all the credit to Beyonce, but having one of the most famous women in the world talk about women's empowerment, not a bad thing at all. I'm not mad at it. Beyonce talks about what she does with her man. She teases, she leaves stuff to the imagination. She's just not like, you know, bust it open and, and hit it from the back. That's all music is about now. This music today doesn't teach you how to court a girl. It teaches you how to just be like, what's good, we and what? If you want to grab a copy of her Out Magazine issue, it's hitting newsstands April 22nd. Yeah. Evidently, they still print magazines. I just read everything online now. Now it's time for Ask the Drop. And Jack Adams said, why did Kanye make a song about gold diggers then hook up with Kim? Why do you think? To me, I don't think Kim is a gold digger because she has her own money. True. Like, she's well off enough. She has a lot of other flaws, like, personality-wise, but, you know, she's not a gold digger. with her personality? She'd be out here. She be out there? Yeah. All I gotta say is that ass though. That's all Kanye talk about. Oh my God, did you see that photo shoot she just did? No. Is it ridiculous? Crazy. A woman said that. That's why Kanye hooked up with Kim. What do you think about Beyonce's statements? Agree, disagree, drop a comment. And subscribe to All Dev Digital. I'm Jay Snow. I'm Cindy Luciette. See you tomorrow.